Hi, my name is John Aschenbach. I'm president of Resource Supply LLC out of Tigard, Oregon. Today we're going to talk about the Criterion RD1000 made by Laser Technology out of Colorado. The Criterion RD1000 is used for timber cruising. It's a very, very good instrument for doing variable plot cruising. Basically, there's three different things that you can do with this that I want to talk about in this video. You can determine your in and out trees very well with the RD1000 for variable plot cruising. The second thing is you can measure the diameter at any point on the bowl of a tree very well with this. And the third thing is the height diameter mode that this thing has built into it. Now the RD1000 weighs 1.1 pounds. It's uh, you know, got a fairly good size to it, but uh, really very easy to hold on to, very, very easy to use. There's a little compartment here where you have two AA batteries. It'll run for a long time. I mean, it literally weeks on the two AA batteries. They can be alkaline or nickel metal hydride or whatever. Uh, you turn it on by pressing the on switch here. It goes through a boot up procedure. You actually can see the display on the outside LCD screen, but you can also see it on the uh, LED screen inside. So as you're looking through the viewer, you'll see everything without having to move from the, the unit. Now one of the things that resource supply supplies, and this is an exclusive feature, is we have a separate lens cover that we put on here. And it, what it does is it just gives a little bit of additional protection to the lens. Not so much uh, anything relative to waterproofness. It just basically keeps the, the dirt and crud and everything from getting inside this cavity. And it, it just makes it uh, just easier to keep that clean. You can actually run it with the lens down to see through uh, cover or you can just flip it up really easily. Now for regular proportional plot cruising we use this to determine our in and out trees and there's some features of this that are just exceptional as compared to other uh, older style uh, instruments. First thing is you can have any basal area factor that you want from one to 127 square feet of basal area. And that's just a menu option, just choose whatever you want. When you're looking through this, you're gonna see one continuous bar for whatever basal area factor that you select. So it's not like the older instruments where you have multiple bars and you have to interpret, you know, what's a 20 BAF or a 40. Uh, in this case, if I want 34, I can just type that in. That's no problem. The other advantage to this thing is you've got one bar but it, it's just incredibly clear. You can see that basal area factor very, very well. You can also see your sample trees or the potential sample trees very well. The third advantage of this with variable plot cruising is how fast it stabilizes. So if I use this, I'll actually put it up to my eye. I keep both eyes open and I push the button in in the front. That activates the basal area factor. And as I look up or if I look down, at a steep angle, it adjusts for the slope very, very quickly, much, much faster than the old style instruments where you're punching the brake button. So there's actually a speed en enhancement there. Plus the main factor is you can see the trees and you can see that basal area factor so much better. Now the other thing I want to talk about is the uh, uh, capability of this to measure diameters. And to measure diameters, what you do is you input the distance from where you're standing to the tree and you just do that on the keyboard here and then you use the rocker switch in the back and you actually just move the rocker switch uh, either make it bigger or smaller until it matches the diameter of the tree and this can be at, at any point on the tree it can be below where you're standing it could be way up you know uh, 100 plus feet up in the air or anywhere in between you just get that to match the uh, uh, the bar to match the actual diameter where you're sighting and it will tell you the diameter of the tree uh, inside the uh, unit so you'll see it directly and you can measure diameters from two inches up to uh, hundred inches in diameter so you got a lot of capability there okay the next thing I want to talk about is the height diameter mode built into the RD1000 in this you actually will enter the distance to the tree and then once you have that in there, you'll actually enter a, a diameter that you'd like to cruise to. Like if you wanted to cruise to 8 inches, you know, the point on the bowl that's 8 inches in diameter, you would enter that. And then what you do is you actually will 
sight the base of the tree and you'll you'll push a button and then as you and you keep the button pushed in as you're looking up you'll see in the viewfinder the the height is reading off it'll be one two three four you know 40 45 46 47 you know as high as you want to look when you get a match for the the width of the bar to the point on the tree that you're looking for that's where it would be eight inches or whatever diameter that you've said that you want to have on this now in uh, a lot of circumstances we may say that we want to cruise to eight inches but we'll actually be looking at at uh, heights below that you know maybe we've got a big limb coming out and a great break uh, we can say okay that's at 47 feet we may go to total height we can just go past that point uh, uh, after we've got this set up it's just reading the different uh, uh, heights based on the angle that we're, we're uh, basically shooting this thing at. So there's a lot of capability in it. This thing is well made. Uh, it's designed for use out in the field in rugged conditions. Doesn't matter if it's raining or, or anything like that. It'll do the job for you. If you have any questions, if you'd like to uh, get some more information, you can email me or give me a call and we'll have our contact information at the end of the video here.